Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at quizzes. I know I did quizzes last time round, but the guys at quizzes have been really busy. They've just launched a new feature. So I thought I'd show you that. So um, I've logged into my quizzes account. I've got a super account, um, but this feature is available on all accounts. If you jump to one of your quizzes and click that, you'll find when you open it, now there's a third choice. So we're used to the live quiz and the assigners homework. If you want to find out more about the assigners homework feature, click on the banner on the top right hand corner. But there's now a new paper mode and this allows you to play the quiz without students needing to have a device. Now we know sometimes you're in a space within your school or college where the Wi-Fi is not very good or you may have a group of students who don't all have access to a smartphone or an iPad that they can use to partake in the quiz. So this way means that you don't need any devices apart from the teacher having one device. So what you do is you click paper mode and then what you need to do is to print out the cards for your students to have. So if you click print, it will bring up a PDF. It'll take a minute to load up the PDF and you'll see the instructions are there. You've got a card which has multiple sides and depending on which way they orientate the card will depend what answer they're giving. So there's four sides to the card and they can spin the card round. As it says there, it has to be upright, it can't be at an angle and they can't be blocking the code with their hands. But these can be printed out and then reused. And you'll see that as long as you make a mental note of which student gets which card or a physical note, you can then track what your students are answering. So these are the cards there. I'm just gonna make these slightly smaller uh, and you'll see why in a moment. So we jump back to the thing. We then click start. Now I've already downloaded the app onto my device. I've now opened up, I'm now gonna jump up onto the device and I'm gonna run through what it looks like using on the device. So we've done all we need to do on the teacher's computer. We're now swapping to the app uh, and we're gonna have a look at what that looks like. So having hit start, it then asks you to scan for the answers within the questions. So I've just got a PDF open on my computer. I can then hit scan and it will start to scan the answers and I can go through and just go move up the PDF as if that was the students and I was moving the phone or the, the, the iPad around the room and it's automatically submitting the answers. I can then hit submit and I can go to the next question. Click scan answers and I can go back and you can see very easily it's picking up the answers. Now obviously this would be students holding it as opposed to me scanning my screen, but you're getting the idea. It will tell you if, if one's not been scanned correctly and you can go back and scan that again. And when you're happy, you can click submit and go to the next question. Hit scan answers. and scan them. When you're finished, you can click end quiz. And just as with the, the normal version of quizzes, you can see the accuracy rate and you can see how many players have played. Uh, and those player uh, numbers refer to the player numbers that are marked on the cards. So really great way of allowing the students to respond and engage with a quiz without you needing to have a device, uh, for them to have a device that they have to use in the room, which is really useful if the room, as I said already, if the room doesn't have a great Wi-Fi or maybe all the students don't have access to a device. So you can still use the, the fun aspect of assessing with quizzes, but without the worry of students not having a device. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.